ってのんきなやつにラディアート3回マニュアル通りにたどたき愛愛がないことに気がつかない窒息する前に叫ぼうぜほう Suffocating, I'm so tense. Mount Akina is calling my name. I've never wanted to get behind the wheel of that car so much in my life. Am I losing my mind? No one knows that pass like I do. I've driven that thing rain or shine every day for the last five years. It's become a part of me. <laughs> I'll see you later. Thanks for being so cool with me taking the car out tonight. I owe you. Talk to me. We better put the pedal to the metal. We don't have a whole lot of time left. Hey, Doc! There he is! It's too late. They've locked in on me. There's nowhere for me to hide now. Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> What's going on? You mind getting out of the way or do I have to run over you? Dude, seriously. Come on, get out of the way. You want to die? <laughs> Talk to me. I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I'm late. Sorry about that. That's okay. I'm. It's like you said, I'm a street racer and I've been challenged. So this is where I'm supposed to be, right? Thank you, talk to me. Huh? Uh, hey, don't snot all over me. What's wrong with you? This dude's just a kid. I wouldn't be surprised if he's had his license for less than a year now. He can't have too much experience under his belt. How'd he learn his technique? Go-karts? Crazy. I would have figured I'd be facing someone older than me. So that's a GTR. Good doesn't even come close. It's in a class by itself. Its top-of-the-line driving system merges every perfect thing about the FR and the four-wheel drive. Makes it an unstoppable beast. I'm Takashiya the Night Kids. Huh? You got a name, don't you, kid? It's Takami Fujiwara. I'll remember that, Fujiwara. Let's get this show on the road. So you're saying that a heavy understeer during full throttle is a better setting if you have the skills to handle it. Makes sense. But if the car starts handling differently all of a sudden, Takami could panic when he's pushing into corners. Don't you think it would have been a wise decision to warn him about it ahead of time? I could have, but it wouldn't have made a difference. Takami's not exactly what you'd call a cerebral driver, if you know what I mean. What? That's reason enough to tell him about it. Just wait and see, Yuichi. It'll be all right. I know my son might not be the sharpest knife in the drawer when it comes to using his head, but the boy has cat-like reflexes, and that's what wins races. 
There's no time to think first and then react to the nuances you feel through the seed. Your arms and legs have to move together almost instinctively in order to control the drift, so don't worry. Takumi's got a knack for sensing when and how to accelerate when he's in the middle of a drift. So if the suspension settings are altered a little here and there, it won't matter. He'll make minor adjustments when he needs to. It's the only way to drive an 8-6. That car trains its driver. We're at the finish. Road's clear, so if they're ready to go, send them down. Ikitani, we just got the go-ahead to start. Gotcha. All right, we're about to start the countdown. We go in 10 seconds. Come on, Takumi. I know you can do it. Hey, Keisuke. While the wannabes watch from the sidelines, we'll have the best seats in the house. Hop in. They're starting. isn't too far behind him. Here they come. You better buckle up. Holy crap, look! It's Ryosuke's FC! He's not trying to join the race, is he? What the hell's he doing? No one said anything about this being a freeway. Epic. This will decide who the fastest driver in Guma is. The guy in the GTR is slowing down. Is he waiting for me to catch up? I could lose him on the straightaway and be done with it, but where's the fun in that? I came here to battle. The race starts as soon as we hit the first corner. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? He's slowing down and waiting for the 8-6 to catch up. We'll see if his overconfidence ends up costing him in the last half of the race. Here they come! They're in the first corner. All three cars are in a tight pack. Wow. Boonta called it all right. What the hell's going on? No way. The only reason you're this close is because I let you. But it's the closest you'll get to my bumper. Just watch. Watching this kid drive up close, it's clear to me now. His drift's an art. He's pulling a four-wheel drift with full throttle and barely using any counter-steering. Do you have any idea how incredible that is? He's using every bit of power that 8.6 has, and his control is phenomenal, like it's as effortless as controlling his hands or his feet. I can't even control my own FC with that level of precision handling. This is getting interesting. Yeah, maybe so, but Takashi's pulling ahead of him again. If the 8-6 can win, then he'd better make his move soon. Yes! This is what I live for. This is the kind of thing that really gets my blood pumping. I've been waiting a long time for a good battle. All right, kid. Time to cut you loose. Follow this! Wait a second. Something feels different. I'm not losing as much control when I floor the gas. Maybe I can accelerate sooner than I normally do. When I was at work, was Dad messing with it? 
That's the only explanation I can think of, because it sure wasn't like this when I made deliveries this morning. I get it. That's where he was earlier. He was tweaking the car for me. Whatever he did, I like it. I'm not sliding nearly as much as I usually do, and that means I can push it all the way. someone take that tight of a corner while maintaining a solid drift. That dude is a maniac. You'd have to be perfectly in control of your speed to pull that off. Did you see that? Yeah, but I don't believe it. Nobody drifts like that. Freaking incredible. I tell you, man, that was legendary. Don't you forget it. really doing it. Takumi's given the 3-2 a run for its money. Yes! Seriously, Nakazato's got some mad skills on his own, but put Ryosuke behind him and you've got yourself a superstar battle royale. And my best friend's racing against both of them at the same time. That is so freaking sweet! I'm with you, man. It's pretty exciting, but Ryosuke and his FC aren't actually in the race. They're just following along. He's just a spectator with a really sweet view of the action. Yeah. Just Takami and Takashi. The 3-2 has the 8-6 at a huge disadvantage. But I know Takami will find a way to pull through. Yeah, Takami's got this, right, guys? <laughs> Am I right? Uh, you know I'm right. <laughs> Two's lead is getting bigger. Nakazato's got a big mouth, but at least he has the skills to back it up. Just look at the way he distributes the load and eases the understeer in the turns. He really knows what it takes to draw out every ounce of the GTR's power. It isn't pretty to look at, but this isn't the time to play it safe. I gotta ask you, bro, whose side are you really on anyway? If the kid loses this race, then our chance of redemption is over. Hmm. <laughs> this battle hasn't even begun. The first half is almost all straightaways with lots of gentle slopes. The 8.6 doesn't perform well in that sort of terrain, but the declines are going to be getting rough here soon. Perfect opportunity for a downhill specialist to really shine. Here we go. The 3-2 was made for this next corner, a low gear hairpin. All I gotta do is cut my speed by slamming on the brakes. When I'm on the downhill, the front wheels still have to bear the load. That's the only way to keep the understeer from pushing too hard. But coming out of the turn, accelerating from a low gear is a breeze. It's no secret this is the fastest machine on the racing circuit, and it dominates on the open roads too. The GTR logo on the back means this is the baddest set of wheels you've ever seen. Too bad you're never gonna get close enough to read it, kid. Hey, Katani. Yeah? Well, I've been thinking about something. Up until now, I've always seen Takumi as the kind of driver who's only really fast when he's racing on his home turf, you know what I mean? But what if you raced on a different pass? How well you think you would really do? You ever think about that? Well, sure. I've thought about that a few times, actually. But right now, we just need to focus. Come on, Takumi. Win. Hell yeah!
barely keep him in sight. <laughs> Looks like the real action's about to get started. He's gripping the edge of the road with his inside tires. This is it. The move that beat me. I never thought I'd get the chance to see it again with my own eyes. Ryosuke's gone quiet. I better do the same. I don't want to break his concentration. I've ridden shotgun with him for years now, and he's never driven with such intensity before. I've never seen him so focused. He's gaining on me. How the hell is this 8-6 closing the gap? Impossible. catching up to me after such a huge lead. Now I see how wrong I was thinking the 8-6 couldn't handle this. That thing is a true fighting machine right up there with my GTR. All right, playtime is over. Man, I'm getting such a rush. This feels great. I haven't been in a fight this intense since I bought this car. kid doesn't hold a candle to the 3-2. They're close going into the turn, but the 8-6 loses ground after a hairpin. Can't forget about Nakazato, though. Attacking the downhill in a heavy 3-2 takes some serious guts. caught up at the fastest corner on the track? Doing over 100 kilometers an hour in a four-wheel drift is nuts. He nearly grazed the guardrail. These moves don't have anything to do with the car's capabilities. It's the driver. He's got a screw loose. Just one slip up and he'll be splattered all over the mountain. Now I know a secret. A lightweight car like the 86 has weak acceleration, which means it takes forever to get back up to speed after braking. So he never sacrifices more speed than he absolutely has to. It makes total sense now. When I raced him, I'd lose him on the straightaways, and then, sure enough, he'd be back on my tail after each turn. shake him. The farther down the course we get, the harder the little punk is pressing me. He's freaking relentless. Mm. 
Kazato's clearing each of the guardrails by a good 20 or 30 centimeters. I don't care how fast you are. That's sound technique any way you look at it. And yet the H6 is close enough to leave paint on the rail. Maybe a centimeter or two at most. It's amazing, but how's he do it? I wouldn't think any man could control the drift with that level of precision. I've been using the ABS hard and forcing the steering to do what I need it to do. Problem is, it's making the load on the front tires a lot heavier than I'd hoped. This race just got a whole lot harder. Hairpins are coming up soon. Huh? It's the exact same spot where he left you in the dust, and he's about to do the same thing to Takashi. A 3 2 versus an 8 6. Who would have thought the race could be this close? Both cars are being pushed to their limits, but which one is going to edge out the victory? to have a huge advantage, right? The R32 is 40,640 millimeters long and 1,720 millimeters wide and weighs in... So in other words... In other words, the R32 is 4,640 millimeters long and 1,720 millimeters... And what you're saying is that the downhill puts Takami in a... What I'm saying is the R32 is 4,600... Enough already! Next time on Initial D, the five consecutive hairpins. Don't miss it!